Here's what Michael said to Satan when they contended over the body of Moses. Here's what Michael said to him. The Lord rebuke thee. Make sure you're prayed up and you're ready. Make sure you're right with God. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. So what are you saying, preacher? I'm saying they're crawling with demons. Drag Queen Story Time at Lansdale Library sparks a rally to protest. The event called Drag Queen Story Fun Time with Annie will be hosted by Drag Queen Annie Christ at the Lansdale Library this Saturday. Annie says the event is aimed at spreading awareness about... You see how far they've come? See how far they've come? That's what I'm saying. They're crawling with them. Trusted officials and library staff are promoting a foul-mouthed adult entertainer named Annie Christ. Discriminative attack on Christianity as a role model to our small children, and we must take action. A woman was arrested in front of her children and locked up for seven hours for calling a female transgender activist by her former male name. Drag Queen Storytime for Children. A unique reading program for small children. Drag Queen Storytime in Lafayette. It's hosted by a drag queen. The president said something about abortion. And he mentioned the governor of the state of uh, Virginia. The governor of Virginia, where he stated he would execute a baby after birth. And he talked about infanticide. photograph in Virginia Governor Ralph Northam's medical school yearbook page is causing controversy. The photo, which appears under Northam's full name and beside photos of him, shows one person wearing blackface next to another person wearing a Ku Klux Klan robe. You are the Grand Dragon of the Klan. Grand Dragon of the United Clans of America, Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. The offensive images surfaced during an already tumultuous week for Northam, who was accused of infanticide. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon. If a mother is in labor, I can tell you exactly uh, what would happen. Um, the infant would be delivered, uh, the infant would be kept comfortable, uh, the infant would be resuscitated if, if that's what the uh, mother and the family desired, and then a discussion would ensue between the physicians and the mothers. The dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. I am asking Congress to pass legislation to prohibit the late-term abortion of children who can feel pain in the mother's womb. There was a group of women sitting there in white. In white. Did you see the women? Did you see the stone-cold face on those women when he mentioned the killing of little babies? I admire Margaret Sanger. And you understand the issue involved now with this, with, this, with this governor over here in Virginia and with what happened, what was passed in New York? That if the baby comes out of its mother's womb and is still breathing and is viable, it can live, then you have a discussion with mama to decide how you're going to kill it. I admire Margaret Sanger. A woman behind a chilling act will be out of jail in just two and a half years. A judge today accepting Evie Amati was struggling as she transitioned from male to female. Evie Amati doesn't remember walking into a 7-Eleven with a two kilogram axe, but her victims will never be able to forget. Ben Rimmer says in that moment he feared he would never see his pregnant wife again or meet his son. This is the first thing Evie Amati remembers about the date waking up in hospital. Her actions that night were captured on CCTV, but Amati claims she remembers none of it. She says it wasn't until she saw a news report five or six days later that she learned what she'd done. They were innocent, they did nothing to deserve what happened, and all I wanted to do immediately was issue an apology, she said. Now, after 18 months in prison, we're hearing her side of the story. She told her district court trial that before the attack, she'd taken drugs and later started hearing voices. I started seeing some of the... See how far they've come? So what are you saying, preacher? I'm saying 
they're crawling with demons. She said she went home, smoked cannabis and listened to her favourite song called Flatline. Amati said the song spoke to her feelings of always being judged and labelled. She cried as her barrister read out lines from the chorus. Then she told the court that after listening to the song, she only had one more memory. That voice that had been telling me to... Demons. ...pain on people and start the rise of hell on earth. I recall everything going quiet and feeling that voice come inside me and a sinister smile that I can't control, and then I black out. She said she'd fallen into a depressive state after thinking a date had rejected her for being transgender. Are you able to confirm or deny that it was in fact you who committed this offence? I respectfully decline to answer that question. The court heard at that time Amati was still transitioning from male to female following surgery in Thailand. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Today we are fearfully witnessing an unprecedented spiraling of moral decadence across this world. The masses, it would seem, hate the good and love the evil. Hate evil, love good was among the signs held outside of Lansdale Public Library. A controversy surrounded an event inside called Drag Queen Story Fun Time with Annie. It's a public children's book reading to help them understand bullying, diversity, and discrimination. The host, a Lansdale resident, and drag queen who requested the room named Annie Christ. We think that this um, event should not be taking place. We think it's not good for the children, the, um, and it's wrong. Something had to be done. Supporters say the message of the event transcends. The message is about acceptance and, and if people are bullying you, you know, it's going to happen, but it's okay to be different and accept yourself. I'm telling you, if you're a curious type and you, you see somebody going through things and you think they're demon possessed and you're not safe, get out of there. Because if that demon is cast out of them, it'll go right in you. Don't give place to the devil, folks. Society is coming apart at the seams. The world is moving into a season of judgment. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. You need to settle down and mind your business, okay? Ma'am, once again, ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. I actually said both of you guys. It was a general. Right beforehand, you fing said sir. Sir? Motherfucker. Take it outside. If you want to call me sir again, I will show you a sir. I apologize. Mother I apologize. Now. Oh. I need your corporate number because I'm going to talk, call them and talk about how it's misgendered several times in this store. I apologize for that. I need your corporate number now. Get it for me now. I'm going to ask you to calm down and stop cussing. Give me your corporate number. Well, I'm going to ask you for the fifth time to stop calling me a man, because quite I clearly I am not. And I apologize. I'm sorry for that, ma'am. I will get you that number. Is that okay? Yes, I'm get it for me now. I'm asking you to stop Get it cussing. for me now. I'm, I'm not cussing. I'm not cussing. Okay. Give me the damn number now. Please. Ma'am, I apologize. Ooh. Ma'am, I apologize, ma'am. I will get you that number right now. Many stories and today's headlines have a spiritual component. This is something that the mainstream media will never speak of. In the last days, perilous times shall come. A transgender woman losing her cool when she says an employee at an Albuquerque video game store called her sir instead of ma'am. Tiffany Moore, a transgender woman who recently started her transition, yelling at an employee inside this Albuquerque GameStop. Moore says the cashier repeatedly called her sir instead of the gender pronoun she identifies with. While she was trying to return a game she bought for her son. Take it outside. If you want to call me sir again, I will show you a sir. I apologize. I apologize. 
I was so angry at that point because it, literally five or six times he called me sir and it got me so human angry and I was cussing that. But you know what? I, I look back at it if I could, I wouldn't change a single thing. I would do it a hundred thousand times again. I would kick over that display a hundred thousand times again because my actions were justified. I mean it was it was blatant and malicious hate. It was blatant and malicious misgendering. This is Ian. Ian, this is my crew from the LGBTQIA Center. Hey. Hey, Ian. Are you, are you uh, gonna introduce yourselves or do I have to do it for you? I'm, I'm Bethany. I'm a triracial cisgendered girl fag. I identify as pansexual and my pronoun is she. Okay. Hi, Emerson. Gender fluid, hetero romantic, demisexual mutt, and a redhead. My pronoun is Z. <laughs> Hey, I'm Rabbit, genderqueer, tax attorney. I identify as Jennifer Aniston. Just kidding. <laughs> Vember. DX. Chinese, Mexican, agender, intersex, AFAB. My pronoun is they. Okay. All right, is it okay if I ask a few questions? Better than to assume you know the answers. Uh, yeah, uh, what, um, AFAB? Assigned female at birth. When your parents decide your gender without considering how you may identify in the future. Okay, and what, what's the whole um, uh, pronoun thing? When we talk about DX, we say, ask them if they would like a coffee. But there's only one of him. Her. Them. UK authorities are being accused of a heavy-handed response after a woman was arrested in front of her children and locked up for seven hours for calling a female transgender activist by her former male name. Kate Scotto says she's not had her mobile or laptop returned to her two months after police detained her and has reportedly been charged with a campaign of targeted harassment. RT's Anastasia Cherkina has the story. This is a case, indeed, that's circulating in the UK press this Monday concerning a 38-year-old woman in Hertfordshire, north of London, Kate Scotto, who uh, is being investigated following a potentially controversial Twitter exchange. Now, according to this woman, she was arrested by three police officers and uh, locked up, according to her, for an entire seven hours following a report filed by a transgender activist claiming that she was dead naming this activist which means using the name that the person was either born with or was using before transitioning so essentially in this case for calling this activist a man this is what she had to say I was arrested in my home by three officers with my autistic 10-year-old daughter and breastfed 20-month-old son present. I was then detained for seven hours in the cell with no sanitary products, which I said I needed before being interviewed, then later released under investigation. I was arrested for harassment and malicious communications because I called someone out and misgendered them on Twitter. I think I can see your beard, I see. You can see my beard? Oh no! In these the last days, we have lost our sensibilities. I'm, I'm Bethany. I'm a triracial cisgendered girl fag. I identify as pansexual and my pronoun is she. Foul mouth adult entertainer named Annie Christ. I admire Margaret Sanger. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is man. I can see your beard, I see. For decades, American movies and television have been casting spells on the entire world, influencing the masses with their godless, do-with-thy-will philosophy. One of the worst shows on network television today is Fox's hit series, Empire. This show is an hour-long, weekly celebration of LGBT debauchery, and all forms of deviant behavior. Thousands of years after its people perished in a storm of burning sulfur, Sodom and Gomorrah. The destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, a cautionary historical event, warning of the power of Yahuwah's judgment. The remains of these cities are like no other place on earth. Everything has been reduced to ash, including the stones. In this region, near the Dead Sea, there are four areas marked by light gray ash. These areas are peppered with millions of burn marks containing spheres made of white sulfur, the purest natural sulfur ever found on Earth. This sulfur is highly flammable. 
When burned, it releases a toxic gas from a blue flame. Fox's hit series, Empire. The show is presented with a hip-hop theme to appeal to children and young adults. I believe there are legions of deceiving spirits influencing the creators to weave these fictional tales made to mislead the people. Jesse Smollett is a perfect example. The openly gay Empire actor is so ensnared in this demonic LGBT delusion that he believed he could use sympathy to entrap others by fabricating a dramatic hate crime. A lying tongue. This is an actual scene from the show Empire. Cutting back and forth from a church choir to Jesse Smollett engaging in depraved acts. A lying tongue. Tonight, Chicago police say the two men in this photo, who actor Jesse Smollett says attacked him, are affiliated with his show Empire. A lying tongue, whoso diggeth a pit, shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. Police in Chicago say Smollett lied to them a lying month tongue. when he claimed two masked Trump supporters shouting homophobic slurs beat him up. Empire actor Jesse Smollett is in police custody.